Hey everybody, uh, I'm Josh Smith, I own Josh Smith Knives. This is kind of a uh, oh, sequel to the last video I just, I just did here. Um, in the last video I did, I was working on straightening a blade that we had in heat treat. It warped just a little bit in heat treat. And in that last video, I had just the slightest bow and I explained how we use heat, just a little bit of heat, on the right spot on the blade and then some side pressure and a vise to uh to get that blade straight and i suggest you watch that video before we move on to this one but once i've done that uh i've still i've got some little waves and whatnot from that and i need to true this blade up um as i explained in that video earlier when i grind a dagger i left this flat all the way down the center here i didn't grind it to a perfect uh, ridge line up here just yet. I have a nice flat here, a nice flat on my tang and my handle, and a nice flat down here. All right. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go put this on the surface grinder and we're going to just take out those little imperfections with that surface grinder. I, led the, I left this blade just a few thousandths thick just for this exact reason. Uh, I always like to do a little bit of a surface grind on my blades that, that re require flats and whatnot. Um, after heat treat just to clean them up and that way I know when I go into my finish grind uh, I'm working on perfect flat and true surfaces all right a surface grinder will save your life if you're a knife maker um, you can battle with this you can battle with this blade all you want on a disc grinder or on a belt grinder and it's never going to be anywhere near as accurate as uh as it does as it will on a surface grinder and you can get a surface grinder my, my surface grinder is from the 1930s came off of a u.s battleship um they're being replaced those old machines are being replaced um by like cnc controlled machines so uh you know look at your local machine shops mine didn't have a motor in it uh it ran a stone i converted it to run a belt um and I picked it up for like 1200 bucks. I, you know, put several hundred bucks into it, but I, I still probably don't have $2,000 into that surface grinder. And I guarantee it's made me that times a lot um, in my knife, in my knife making. Just the amount of blades I probably would have screwed up or thrown away, but I was able to, able to save. And then efficiency wise and time wise, when you know you're within a thousandths or two thousandths, two thousandths of an inch, um, it increases your accuracy. It's not just for folder makers. Um, I, I bought that surface grinder when I started making folders and it changed everything about what I do. Um, uh, I use it, I glue handle material to that magnet. Uh, the ma It's got a, and I'll show it to you when we get out there, it's got a magnet on it. You can put a piece of steel down on it, clamp it, and it grinds your steel nice and clean. Um, but I'll glue pearl, I'll glue wood, ivory doesn't matter i'll glue brass to it if i need to or nickel silver um if you buy stainless that's magnetic you can clamp down magnetic uh clamp down stainless and i come off of there with really nice finishes like a 400 grit finish um uh so there's a lot you can do after you screw handles together say on a folder you can put the liners down and surface grind all that off nice and true to match up with your bolsters. Uh, so it's super handy. So let's walk out there. Um, I'm doing the old vice grip, hold your phone thing. I, I clamped my, uh, well, I can't talk. I clamped my phone in a piece of leather and I've got uh, vice grips holding my phone. So um, I don't have any fancy gadgets. So I'm out here in my shop. Uh, and I'm not sure if I know how to swap this thing around. Let's see here. How do you do this? Let's see. I actually don't know if I can do that. I don't know how to run this stuff sometimes. So I'll do it like this. This is my surface grinder. Okay. Uh, it's old. It's old and it's really heavy. Um, but it's super cool. I'll get a closer up. Um, normally, it ran a stone, uh, and a stone would actually be more accurate if I was making stuff for like NASA, but I run an aluminum wheel, 
with a belt. Comes up to an idler assembly here. Super easy. Got an arm. Um, see if we can see that arm. That arm kind of comes up and holds that idler, idler assembly. This is an eight by 24 magnet. If I can look down the magnet here. Uh, eight inches wide, 24 inches long. Most of them are six by 18, um, maybe even a little bit smaller. Uh, I got lucky finding this eight by 24. Uh, I can clamp multiple folder blades along here, big long buoys or daggers, two or three hunting knives. Um, it, it's, it's really nice to be able to have that, that length. Uh, here's all the old handles and stuff to run it. This handle, let's see here, this handle right over here cranks this table back and forth. And uh, so let's see, let's look at that table and see if I can get you. So if I crank that thing, it runs that, runs that table back and forth. So here we go. Okay, so we're gonna clamp this blade down here. So when you just move this, this blade will just move around. Get away here a little bit. This blade will just move around and then when I throw this little handle right here, let me get my blade lined up. Okay, throw this little handle here. All of a sudden that blade doesn't, doesn't move at all. Okay, now one thing I like to do if I have a tip that's tapered, I like to put a little wedge just so my magnet doesn't want to suck it down or push down. I've got a little taper right here from grinding. I'll actually stick a little wedge in there just to ensure that tip doesn't want to push down. And here we go. So when we look at these numbers right here, turn this phone this way, on this wheel, uh, each number on here is the thousandth of an inch from zero to 24. So it doesn't take much, it doesn't take much uh, movement on this wheel. When I turn this wheel by hand, it drops that head. I'm gonna come down just a tiny, tiny bit. That's about a half a thousandth. And then I'll crank the table. I'm gonna actually line it up. So we can see. You gonna hold the phone for me, Demi? That'll be better. There we go. So we can see on here, and if you can get down here a little bit closer and look, surface grinder is hitting good here and in here, but I got a little dip right in here from when I was straightening that blade. Not much. So we'll take this down another half a thousand. Let's keep that. Uh, you can back up this a little bit there. About right there. You gotta see the screen so you can see what you're doing. Okay. Now I'll just make a pass. And you can see when the sparks go away right there, see they went away and then they came back. I got a little dip. I'll drop again. Once I have sparks all the way along that blade, I know I've got contact with that center line. So let's get a close up here. Let's get right down by this wheel bin. My daughter Denny is helping me out here. Okay, let's hold that right there. Sparks are all the way along. They get a little less right in there, but I think we got contact the whole way. It's a lot of sparks, but it's very little actual material. This is a very fine belt. So let's pull that off and look. Okay, just hang on to that right there and I'll just move around. Okay, so we just pulled that blade off and now you can see I've got a nice line right down that blade all the way down the center. 
So now what I can do is I can go in and I can scribe, I'll paint this with a little dicum layout and I can scribe a center line right down here, all the way down. And I've already done the other side. I can rescribe all my center lines and then once I go to finish grind, I'm going to have a nice little area to grind to. So that is exactly how I surface grind a blade to kind of get it back to straight. I just got a little couple wobbles out of it. I didn't take much off of it. Probably I might have taken 10 thousandths off of the whole thing. Almost next to nothing. So um, you consider a sixteenth is 62 thousandths. So, you know, I'm, I'm not really removing hardly any material at all, but it makes all the difference in the world. So that's how you surface grind a blade after heat treat. Thanks for watching.